Welcome everybody, this is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It's October 18th, 2015, and we're going to talk about the Climate Viewer app um, I've been working on for the last five years. Um, it's really come a long way. We've got a mobile version and a 3D version. I'm going to show them off real quick, and then I'm going to explain to you guys uh, you know, what's going on, what the plans are, and what's the future hold. So, Climate Viewer is an app where you can see many different uh, types of information same place you don't have to go searching all over the internet to find out things like where the late, latest earthquakes were uh, volcanic activity or hur hurricanes you know anything that would affect your life in a very dramatic way um, I, I like to know I like to be informed I was a boy scout so I like to always know what's going on and, and maybe you're like that too so I built this app um, where I could go and find out uh, these sorts of things you know because it matters um, I want to know if there's a ton of fires in my neighborhood next to a nuclear plant or you know if there's just really bad weather on the way I might want to go and pull up the weather alerts and not have to search 20 different websites to find that out so you can come to climate viewer and it's very simple uh, you come up here to the layer button on the top left or top right excuse me and then uh, once you go through there there's different sections you can see here hurricanes and uh, like there's different you know different sources so I've got now coast this is from NOAA and then also you have the new uh, NOAA US Navy um, version of the hurricane things so you just turn these on real quick and that's what you get It'll show the little hurricane tracks and, you know, where the latest uh, tropical depressions, hurricanes, <laughs> and all that sort of stuff is. And there's more controls with it. You can come down here to, say, this uh, cone of error and then scroll down and grab the opacity and, and adjust that. You can now see through it. So, tons of fun. I, I want to make this fun and interactive uh, where you can come see all this stuff live um, and not have to go to 25 websites to do it. I usually check this about... 15 minutes in the morning, uh, again in the afternoon, just to make sure nothing crazy is going on. But it, it, it makes my life a little more uh, secure. Let's just put it that way. So I can go here, hit zoom, come back. Now I'm on the radar over in America. If you have too many layers up, which I've got fires, radar, uh, weather alerts, and earthquakes up, I can just hit the clear button here, and that'll take everything right back off. Down here at the bottom, there's also a clear button. Or you can turn on, let's say, the radar, and then the other radar, which is the uh, unfiltered version. And uh, let's say hit share right here. That'll give you a link that you can share, which will automatically turn those layers on so that you can show somebody else, hey, man, I was on there and I was looking at the radar today, and oh, yeah, there's weather alerts on there too. Well, you can share just those two layers, as you can see here. So if you want to go back to the main menu, just hit show all layers. The idea behind this... Um, it's really complicated to share this kind of stuff, you know. What are, I went to you know, uh, to pay um, college to page, and you know I looked at the radar there, and then I was over on this website and I looked at that. And if you were to try to share all of that information with somebody, it would get really overwhelming. <laughs> so I wanted to make it simple, um, you know, a way for somebody to say, "Hey, I was looking at nuclear um, power plants, and I, I wanted to show you all of these uh, these nuclear power plants of the world." Well, you can come here, turn them all on, and there's all the nuclear power plants in the world. They're color-coded. Red is boiling water reactors. Here's a picture. Here's the data on it. Um, that way you can show people, hey, this is where I live. Here's all the nuclear power plants, and I'm concerned about it. Go over here to layers, hit the share button, and it'll give you a link that will turn on just those reactors and show it to somebody. See, look at that. That's amazing. So that was the, that's the simple version of it. Um, you know, to, to, to make it easy for people to share this really complicated data. Um, I wanted to take it a step further, so we want to do it in 3D. Let's do it live in 3D. <laughs> now, I was using Google Earth. Um, you can read about that here. You know, goodbye Google Earth on what happened to that. And um, we switched to the open source Cesium app. Now, both of these are open source, as well as the project. If you go to the About tab, you can see that we're on GitHub. I would love your help if you're a programmer, um, but as it is, it's just me and a friend. Um, Seth, we're, we've been working on this for a long time. And you can see the details of the project here, the different open source applications we've used. And um, we're doing a GoFundMe. So I'm doing a GoFundMe to, uh, to make this thing a reality, um, what the future is going to hold. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. We'll come back to that. But let's, let's check out this 3D thing real quick. So 
a lot of people talk to me about chemtrails, and I was like, dude, you got to see them on here. So if you go to satellites, satellite imagery, MODIS Terra Corrected Reflectance. This is the NASA MODIS um, satellite. You can come down here and check this out. As you zoom in, it'll refine and it gets sharper. Look at that, man. That's their sky. Louisiana, Texas, covered, just covered in artificial clouds, jet-made trails, chem trails, contrails, aviation-induced cloudiness, whatever the hell you want to call it, that's bad. And you can see it right there. So they're completely covered in the spider webs today. And uh, again, you know, you can come over here to the options and you can mess with that as well. You can make it semi-opaque, <laughs> look through it. I have so much fun with this, guys. You gotta bear with me. But you can do this and you can really see them. I mean, let's turn the contrast up on that and you can see how sharp they are. My goodness. So, um, and again, you can share that layer as well. So um, the fun thing about this one you also have the satellite date. You can choose the day, so you can actually go back in time and look at uh, how it was all the way back to 2012. In fact, you can flip through this. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I have so much fun coding this, guys. I want you guys to have fun playing with it and um, learn a lot. Share you share the stuff you learn, but we want to take it a step further. You know, I can go in here and I can make a map of all of the ionospheric heaters in the world, and I can show you that stuff. And you can see the red dots there. Here's the one in Arecibo. There's Harp. There's Jica Marca Peru. And you can see I put pictures in here and links to their websites and everything. So there's all the Harps of the world. Good to know stuff. Sura. All these fun places. Microwave in the sky with their high tech microwaves. Now, what if you knew of a, a of a you know certain type of device or a, a place where a pollution you know really bad pollution occurred, and you want to share that or say like what just happened with me? I'm in Columbia, I'm in Sumter, South Carolina. Um, we just got like 30 inches of rain here. I mean, everything around here is flooded. What I want to be able to do is get in my car and go out and say, hey, look, we've got people hurt here. Put a dot on a map. Please get people here fast. Um, we've got a flood it's taking out the bridge here. Block the road. Get somebody over here to block this before somebody drives into the river. Dot on a map. Well, in order to do all that, we want to make this interactive. So the next step for the future of Climate Viewer is to add tools that you can use to add your own information. I want to make it so that you can do it from the website or from your phone. So here's a situation. There's a pond near your house. You are... Um, you see a bunch of oil in it and nastiness, and you want to uh, do, do something about that. So take a picture of a polluted stream, attach comments to a map marker based on your phone's GPS location. Ask for help cleaning up that stream. Other Climate Viewer members can click Let Me Help, then post updates right on your map marker. Like, share, comment, collect map markers with your friends. Make cleaning up the world fun. The new version is going to be called Climate Editor because we're going to edit this planet. We're going to fix it. The only way to do that is with tools that will point out the most serious problems and allow a way for people to get involved and fix it themselves without the need of a government or organizations. Self-organized, self-cleanup of the planet. That's one goal. Another goal, map all 50 Occupy Wall Street protests link each together in a global chat channel on climate editor encrypted chat rooms allow all 50 protests to meet in real time post updates and organize the idea being during the occupy wall street movement there were all of these different groups in all of these cities doing all this stuff trying to change things and they were readily mocked in the media and most of what people know about it are the bad incidents that happen with the cops like tony baloney so if we had this while it was going on, not only would it be beneficial while the protests were occurring, but in, in, in the future, it would be stored his, for historical reference and you could see every single minute of what happened. You could go back to the map and see, this is when Tony Baloney sprayed those girls. Here's where it occurred. Here's you know where all of these other different things happened. The guy who got hit in the head with a grenade over in LA, uh, smoke bomb that killed him. Um, there's no map of that. There's no, there's barely any record of it now. Um, this is a tool, and this tool could be very powerful, but it's going to take a lot of help. Um, 
from people like you. I've been doing this for five, almost six years now in, you know, in my bedroom in the middle of the night. And I see people donating to a lot of things. You know, I've seen you know, a guy who's got a trailer for a, bit, a movie that's $20,000. What, what we're hoping to do here is be able to get this app, this app on the internet as fast as possible so that people can use it and get some stuff done. Um, number two, buy the servers that's going to be required to do it. It's going to take a lot of money to get those servers. Um, we want to get an app on the Android and iPhone market that will be free. We're not going to sell this app. We're not The, the website's free. The app's going to be free. What I'm asking for is your help in uh, making this a, a reality. Some of the stuff we're talking about doing is going to be very complicated. We may have to hire other programmers to make this a reality if people don't come in and help us do it. We're going to do it one way or another. So I would ask for your help. It's at GoFundMe.com slash ClimateViewer. Uh, GoFundMe.com slash ClimateViewer. This is what I'm going to be working on until it is done. So I've gotten everything um, that we had planned for making uh, the 3D and 2D maps available to the internet. You can come on here. Radar, weather, earthquakes, fire, <laughs> you name it. It's only going to grow. And it's only going to grow with your help. So I hope that you guys will support me. I hope that you would share this, uh, you know, <laughs> share the app that we have out there now to climateviewer.net and climateviewer.net slash 3D. If you can and find it in your heart, you know, and you're able to, Please support our work financially. I put my heart and my soul into this, guys. And I'm never going to stop doing it. So I really hope that you guys will support me, that you'll help support Climate Viewer 3D. And uh, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not.